Good morning students I am Krunal Chauhan your physical education teacher for the coming year Today we are going to start with our first chapter planning in sports Now we will start with the first sub topics that is meaning and objectives of planning Planning plays a vital role in every field of life Physical education and sports plays a significant role in the holistic development of an individual there are various definitions of planning according to physical educationist allen a plan is a trap led to capture the future in conclusion to that it can be said that planning is an intellectual process to thinking in advance about setting goals and developing strategies which are required to attain the goals efficiently now we will turn to objective of planning there are various objectives of planning which are to reduce unnecessary pressure of emergency second is to maintain a good control over all the activities third one is to facilitate proper coordination next is to reduce the chance of mistakes next to increase efficiency next to enhance creativity and last one is to enhance sports performance to maintain a good control over all the activities is another objective of planning planning and control are connected with each other if tournaments or competitions are organized with a perfect plan good control over all the activities related to that tournaments will be easier planning help helps in holding a good control in organizing a tournament our next point is to facilitate proper coordination this objective of planning is related to facilitate proper coordination among the various members of committee without proper coordination among the officials of the tournament it will not be easy to conduct or organize a sports tournament a proper planning helps in ensuring proper coordinations our next point is to reduce the chances of mistake to reduce the chances of mistakes is also a significant objectives of planning a proper plan reduce the chance of mistakes and oversight although mistakes and oversight in any field cannot be avoided completely but they can be reduced up to some extent through proper planning a number of mistakes in organizing an event will not leave a good impression on the participants our next point is to increase efficiency with the help of proper planning the sports official become more efficient the they performance their duties efficiently and effectively it is one of the important aims of planning to increase the capability and efficiency of officials to enhance creativity is another significant objective of planning as a matter of fact a proper planning increase creativity among official and coaches in fact planning help in innovative and creative thinking among sports official because many new ideas are brought to the table by official when they make a plan one of the significant objectives of planning is to enhance the sports performance of athlete or player without proper planning it is impossible to improve the performance of sports person for example a well planned training in the field of sports is essential to enhance sports performance our next point is various committees and their responsibilities while organizing sports events various committees are formed for systematic and smooth conduct of competitions the first committee is publicity committee the committee for publicity announces the date venue and sports events provides advance information to the institution undertaking printing etc it means responsibility is to advertise sports events the next committee is transportation committee its main duty is to make necessary arrangement for transportation the third committee is boarding and lodging committee boarding and lodging committee is responsible for making necessary arrangement for providing accommodation and serving meals to the sports person and officials the next committee is decoration and ceremony committee 
the decoration and ceremony committee is responsible for the decoration of sports arena or stadium it is also responsible for making necessary arrangement for the opening ceremony victory ceremony and closing ceremony of the games meet this committee also makes arrangement for trophies medals and certificates our next committee is ground and equipment committee this committee is responsible for preparing the ground or laying out the track and field it also makes necessary arrangements of equipment related to games this committee is also responsible for providing equipment according to game the next committee is committee for refreshment and entertainment this committee takes charge of supplying refreshment and drinks to guests official competitors etc it also makes some arrangement for entertainment program during the opening ceremony and closing ceremony of the sports events the next committee is reception committee the members of this committee are responsible for welcoming the chief guest at the opening and closing ceremony it is also the duty of this committee to welcome other guests and spectators the next committee is committee on entries and programs this committee sends entry forms to the various institutions early and receive them on time allots number to the competitors and arrange the seats for guests and spectators while organizing games it is it also prepares pictures of teams participating in the competition next committee is committee for official this committee select various officials such as referees judge recorder in case of games as per the requirement the next is announcement committee this committee is uh, solely responsible for making various announcements the most important committee is first aid committee first aid committee is headed by a well qualified doctor this committee provide first aid to the injured or affected athlete immediately now the last but not the least finance committee this committee is related to financial management it prepares the budget and maintain the account of income and expense now we will turn to our next uh, sub topic knockout league or round robin and combination tournaments first we will see what is mean by tournament a tournament is that series of sports in which one team finally wins and rest of the teams lose the matches tournaments are held according to set rules and regulations the tournaments are organized at various levels such as zonal district state national and international levels now we'll see the importance of tournaments tournaments are very important in the field of sports players participate in tournaments with the great zeal and zest the tournaments are significant not only the players but to the coaches and physical education teachers also now we will see the importance of tournament in that we will see our first point development of sports skills the maximum number of participation in the tournament not only develop technical skills of the sports but also tactical skill also show mark improvement in the game now we will see our next point propaganda of sports tournaments are helpful in publishing the sports when a tournament of a new sports is organized the spectators or the audience come to know about that sports it means it creates interest in that sports our next point is helpful in the selection of players in a tournament good players can be selected easily by the observing their performance in the uh, tournament a tournament is an a good way to select a good team of players our next next point is development of national and international integration sports tournaments are helpful in developing national integrations as well as international unity and brotherhood now we'll see the development of social qualities social traits such as tolerance sympathy cooperation group cohesion brotherhood discipline etc are developed among participants through sports tournaments our next point is source of recreation sports tournaments provide ample reaction to the spectators to maximum reaction organizers do not hesitate to make a large expenditure 
that is why a large number of people go to watch the olympic games and world cup of various games and sports so a tournament is a good source of recreation that is all for importance of tournaments the next point is types of tournaments we have already studied this uh, topic in our previous year so we will move to our next point that is intramural and extramural now we will see the meaning of intramural these activities are organized only for the students of the school no students of other schools are can participate in these activities in fact intramural competition is one of the best means to motivate all the students a game for each and each for game may be considered the motto of intramural competitions now we will see significance of intramural tournaments it is important for physical mental emotional and social development of students stress is laid on moral and ethical values and it is necessary for the development of health of children and also manage aggression provide recreation and also provides opportunity to student to participate in games and sports and also it is help to develop leadership qualities among the students now we will see objective of intramural tournaments tournaments provide opportunity to every student to participate in the game and sports develop the leadership qualities develop the feelings of cooperation to provide recreation develop the feelings of sportsmanship it also provide the opportunity to learn a variety of game and skill find out the talented sports person to provide the experience of organization of competition now we will see which activities are there in the intramural competition there are four type of uh, activities are there like major games minor games uh, creative activities and competitive game we will see that major in major game volleyball hockey tennis badminton football like these games are there minor games it means kho kho uh, tag games roller skating sack race and afterward creative uh, creative activities like painting drawing and making models same as we'll see that competing also activities are there boxing judo taekwondo karate like these games are inside now we will see what is mean by extramural comp competitions the activities which are performed outside the walls of an institution or school the activities that are organized by an institution schools and also the students of two or more school participant in them extramural competitions are also called inter school competitions extramural competitions are fixed well in advance so that the students of the other schools may prepare well for a such competitions now we will see significance of extramural tournaments provide opportunity to school to show their sports capability enhancing the standard of sports performance providing opportunity knowledge of sports techniques the opportunity to participate in sports making and implementing the programs of physical education more effectively now we will see objective of extramural competition uh, obje in objective we will see that uh, it is helping to improve the standard of sports providing experience to the students develop sports, sportsmanship and fraternity uh, in the students to broaden the base of uh, sports provide knowledge of new rules advanced techniques now it's time to see our last point of this chapter which is specific sports program hmm. specific sports programs are such programs of sports which are not usually related to competitions these sports program have various objectives such as creating awareness uh, among people regarding unity health uh, health and diseases like aids swine flu uh, cancer etc and also raising funds for charitable institutions or organizations the sports program may be organized for uh, promoting and uh, maintaining the co cause of health among people the sports programs like uh, annual sports for the students which are studying in schools institutions and also health runs for the middle age uh, runners or the people and run for fun for all the peoples run for special causes like run for environment run for unity and so on 
I hope you have understand the chapter. If you have any queries, you can ask me on our WhatsApp group. Thank you very much.